Wow, it is. <laughs> now here like max range really. Okay, hey guys. So today is going to be exciting. We are going to go to the newest court in the west. This court is located at the arena or also better known as Mega. If you don't know where this court is at, it's in Chochukang nearer to Kia Hong. However, I think due to renovations, it has been closed for a while now. So a lot of anticipation and excitement has been building around it. And today, we're going to go to the arena. There will be a carnival ongoing. However, I think it looks like it's going to rain. Hopefully, the weather holds up and I'll be able to shoot some hoops. So yeah, see you guys at the courts. Nice, uh. it's, um, the tea is a little bit different. Like. You know, taping how much on now? How much? 250. Oh. Actually, it's more like bubble tea, milk, bubble milk tea than taping. Why do they put this in noodles? <laughs> or anything? Apparently, they are known for their liver. Oh, so sure. And they put garlic in the soup. Like those soup bachong mee places, they will put uh, fried garlic in the soup. But nice, uh, the bowl. The bowl really nice, right? <laughs> that oh, old school one. Right? They use the, like, the, you know, the orange colour, the plain one. Lots of noodles. Oh, I love it. The chilli is nice. They got this... Pop light. El dante. It's not dry and wrinkled and... Oh, it's so good. I think it's really underrated. How much was it? 480. Bad, like they give a lot of meat actually. You see? Anyway, we are also waiting for... Uh, what are we waiting for again? Chai Tau Kui. Hokkien Mee and Chai Tau Kui. So by the time our Hokkien Mee and Chai Tau Kui arrived, a nice couple was sitting with us on the same table. So my girlfriend was a bit too shy to kind of do her food review while there were strangers on the table. So I just did my job and kind of took videos of her preparing the food for us. So here's me putting some effort to stir all the lime into Hokkien Mee and doing my job later on to take another nice angle of our food. To be honest, the food was pretty good. Chara Kui was a bit too salty for me. So let's move on to the arena. I just arrived at the arena. Unfortunately, the carnival has already ended. However, you can see that there were already residents nearby, like already filling up the sports areas, the playgrounds, and even the basketball courts. The first thing you definitely notice would be the playground. I think even I would enjoy myself uh, in that playground. Uh, next thing would be the soccer field. It's made of like synthetic grass, so that yeah, never seen like this something like this before. So the basketball court, brand new. I don't, I don't think that there will be anything for me to complain about, but. I'll go and take a look and let you guys know. So yeah, let's go check out the court. Oh, okay, so we are here at the arena at Kiat Hong. And I'm, I just took a couple of shots at the basketball court. So when I'm here, after my first few shots, I noticed that the rim is a little bit high. Okay, it's more than just a little bit high. It's way higher than usual. So, you definitely have to put a little bit of arc on your shot before you can start to get your shots in. So, the court is painted with blue and yellow. There's lots of space on the baseline and the sidelines as well for you to wait for your next game. However, if you're looking for seats, there are benches outside of the cage. So, that's where you may, you may want to use the benches to put on your shoes or even wait for your next game. So next thing would be lights here. So I noticed that there are three lights here. So two on one side of the court and one on the left side of the court. Not too sure how it looks like at night. So if you do know, you can let me know whether or not it's bright enough. Definitely the best feature about this court is not the court itself. It's all the other activities you can do if you're not playing basketball. 
So there's futsal court right here, a volleyball court right on the side, and there's pat patik. I think it's patik. Yeah, if you do want to play a game of patik. Uh, besides that, there's a, also a running track. If you do want to get some warm ups in before your basketball game, if you're all tired after your game and looking for drinks, there's a convenience store just a couple of blocks away and a 7 Eleven right behind the basketball court. Yeah, I would say. This court definitely is filled with uh, lots of other facilities and activities for you to do. That's it for this court. Do let me know if you're coming here to play. I'll be happy to come down and get a game in with you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.